You know, the truth about health insurance is that many people I talk to don't understand it. This is sad because if you don't understand how your health insurance works, you will not be able to fully benefit from it. And if you are buying health insurance and paying big bucks for it, you might as well spend a little time to understand it, right? This will save you so much money. The most mystifying concept for most people is the deductible. In fact, if you understand how the deductible works, you can save so much money on your health insurance premiums each month. So what is a medical deductible anyway? By definition, a deductible is an amount you pay for covered healthcare services before your insurance plan uh, starts to pay. See, by raising your medical deductible as high as you can afford, you can afford to have health insurance and save money. In essence, health insurance is for the catastrophic medical expenses anyways, right? Let's look at this this way. If you have a house, then you probably buy house insurance, home insurance, and most likely you have a deductible. If you don't, then you are paying way too much for your uh, property insurance. Now, um, in case your house burns down due to a fire, you will have to pay a small amount, the deductible, and the insurance company will pay the rest to cover the expenses to build up a new house. The same goes for health insurance. If you have a complicated, expensive surgery, then you will have to pay a part of the cost, but not all. So you will pay like 15 or 20 percent and the insurance company will pay the rest. This is really the beauty of insurance and this is how deductible can help. Going back to my example about the home insurance, see if you have issues with your plumbing or your AC broke, you don't expect the insurance company to pay for it, would you? That's not what the insurance is for. The same goes for health insurance. You can afford to pay for little things yourself, but really the risk is about being able to pay for the unexpected expenses like surgery or hospital stay and so on. Another analogy would be car insurance. You have it and you don't expect the insurance company to pay for your tires or oil change, right? So be smart about it. My advice is that if you are young and healthy, get a plan that has a high deductible. This way you will lower your monthly premiums but still get covered for more expensive procedures. Right? So if you have a health plan with a 2000 deductible, for example, then you pay the first $2,000 of covered services yourself. Please not note that not all procedures are subject to the deductible, so check your summary of benefits. Again, many plans pay for certain services like a checkup or, or disease management or programs uh, before you meet your deductible. After you pay your deductible, you usually pay only a co-payment or co-insurance for covered services. Your insurance company pays the rest. All right, so some plans have separate deductibles for certain services like prescription drugs. Family plans often have both an individual deductible, which applies to each person in the household, and a family deductible which applies to all family members. Generally, plans with lower monthly premiums have higher deductibles. Plans with higher monthly premiums usually have lower deductibles. So to sum it up, look at your uh, options and compare it. If you are healthy, don't bother getting an expensive health insurance plan. You will manage it just well with a high deductible plan at a lower cost. If you found this information useful, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.